Hello my friends, today I'm back and I'm back with something you can expect from me which is another thrift haul because I totally didn't go thrifting again today which I did, don't tell my husband. Shh. The first thing I got I'm actually wearing which is not from today, it's from a few days ago so I've had time to wash all this stuff that I'm going to show you first then I'll move into the stuff that I got today. It's this wonderful pink dress with this, it goes to about mid-thigh, and it's got like this ribbon that ties in the back, which I'm not sure that I'm a huge fan of the ribbon, but I really like the pattern, so I was thinking that I could wear another belt with it if I don't really like this ribbon, but we'll see. Oh. The next thing I got is actually a bathing suit and it is brand new because it still has the lining on the inside and these are the bottoms they're fantastic little shorts and oops I'm dropping it <laughs> this is the top I actually got oh this one needs to be tied a teeny weeny red polka dot bikini I haven't tried any of this stuff on so hopefully it fits and here's the bottoms for that it can be tied and adjusted to be a little smaller got a yellow and blue and pink flowers bikini and I think these bottoms are really fun they're really high-waisted these might be a little small for me but I'm hoping they're not then we got kind of the same print, like the same idea in blue and this top is a little bit different, like it's going to completely tie as one because the strap is really long and there's actually no closure in the back. So hopefully that looks good and we got I love this one. This one might be a little big and it actually only came with one tie for the sides. Um, it's missing this side, but the top of it actually ties as well and it has one tie. So I'm thinking that I can just replace either the top or the bottom ties or I could just wear the opposite with like a black with this with a black bottom and then take the ties out or I could wear the bottom with a black top and then take the ties out and use it for the one piece or replace it I'm not sure but I'll figure it out and this bathing suit oh it's so funny I couldn't not pick it up like I love this one piece I hope I really hope that this one fits just imagining this with my brightly colored hair it'll be definitely too much definitely too much and I am all about that the next thing I got was actually some jeans and I don't normally wear jeans but in the summertime I'm really into jean shorts and jeans at the store were eight pairs for a dollar so I had to pick up a couple pair and the first ones are these Tommy Hilfiger jeans actually I don't know what size these are these are 29 and they look like they might be a tad big for me um, if they are, then I'll just cut them off and put them up on my Depop. The link is below, as it always is. And, oh, these ones are Tommy as well. These ones are 28. I think that these ones will fit me. I love the button up on this one. Like, that is what you want your high-waisted jeans to look like. So, I really hope that these ones work out. I got... Um, this pair as well um, these ones are spree brand and I got these ones because it has the same type of button closure and I love when my hair was to try to cut that so hoping these ones work out as well I don't think these ones actually had a size oh it's in the front no it does up oh, 28 so those should fit we'll see oh stretch um, these Levi's are definitely going to be too small for me, and they do not have a size anywhere on the inside, but I picked them up 
because the back patch is perfect and they are the orange tag Levi's, which we love. So I'm definitely going to chop these off and make them into high-waisted shorts and put them up on my Depop with measurements because I have no idea right now. I got a lot of jeans. <laughs> uh, I didn't even think I actually picked these ones up. These ones might be too small for me. I'm thinking they might be size. It's a size eight, which I have no idea what that actually means. They're Nevada brand and they have this nice patch on the butt. They look really short, so these might actually be kids' jeans. I'm thinking these are gonna be too small for me. These might go back in the donate bin. We'll see. And the last pair of jeans that I got are like super stretchy jeans. Um, do they have a size? They're just size 27, which they look like they'll fit, so hopefully they do. They're Calvin Klein, and they're super skinny, and I just thought the pattern was pretty cool on them. There's nothing really special about the back, but I actually want to leave these ones as jeans. The next thing I got at the store was a couple more dresses. I love this dress. I love the color. I love that there is a slit up to the knee, like it's a maxi with a slit up to the knee. The color's perfect. I love this little flow over and how it cinches. The only thing that I don't love about it is that it is an extra small, but it's uh, Princess Vera Wang and like I can put it on and I can wear this, but my hips are just the slightest bit too big for this, so. <sighs> I'm kind of upset about that one, but this is going to be up on my Depop as well. This one was just kind of like, oh, I did try this one on. <laughs> um, this one, I don't know the brand. It's V with a heart and it's a petite, but there's not actually a size in here. So I just guessed that this would fit, but like, I love the flowiness. It's just like, goes down right above my knee and this is just like a perfect dress for me. These three quarter length sleeves. This is everything I could ask for in a dress. And that was everything that I got that day. Oh no, it's not. I got one more thing. These. Oh my God, they're so funny. These little kitten heels with the fur. Oh, it's so cool. I haven't tried these on. I just picked them up, but they actually look like they might be just like a tad bit too small for me because I think they're a six yeah they're a six and a half but these might be up on my depop as well they're so cool now we're going to move it so everything that I got at that store ended up being a grand total of six dollars because they were having a bag sale that day but I had no idea when I showed up because I didn't even know that it existed I just happened to be driving by it was like Ooh, hey, let's stop there. And bag sale day. And then the ladies actually gave me the regular um, eight for a dollar deal that they were doing this month for the jeans. So I got all of those jeans, which hopefully some of them fit me, and another three pairs for my husband, I think. So it was a great day. <laughs> now we're going to move into all the stuff that I got today. I spent a little bit more on the stuff I got today. Um, I went to my regular thrift store and I got this fun burgundy top with like these bat wing sleeves like your arm is gonna come out and this is like a sheer bat wing sleeve I think that's so cool this was a grand total of a dollar and the other thing that I got at this thrift store is this vest from Maurice's um I just think it's gonna be nice to like throw over dresses or any of it it's got like this nice little tie it's got some pockets which are fake which really upsets me I was excited about those pockets this was a dollar and I'm sure I'll still like it but right now I'm kind of upset um then I moved to another store and yes I know it's spring yes I know I won't be able to wear this for a full year but this dress this dress this jacket is white with this fantastic white fur collar 
I don't know what this brand is, but it was made in Canada. And that's, that's my cats fighting. Great. Um, it was made in Canada and it's 10% cashmere, 70% wool, 20% nylon. And, oh, well, I guess the fur is genuine fur. I thought it was probably fake, but it's genuine, which I'm okay with buying secondhand only. And I usually actually buy all of my clothes secondhand only. I love the little clasp there. It's just like a tad too big for me, but I'm thinking that if I, it goes down pretty far, but not quite to my knees. I'm thinking that if I wear this with a sweater, it'll be no big deal. That was $5, so I had to buy it, even if it just goes in my closet until next year. Got this vintage romper. I thought it was a dress. It's a romper. It's fantastic. It's missing, like, whoa, three buttons on the front here. So I actually think I'm going to need to take all of the buttons off there and just replace all of them. But once I do that, it'll be fantastic. I didn't try that on either. Hopefully it fits. Then I got a, another vest. This one's just like my, it's from Le Chateau. It's a large, but I'm thinking because it's a vest, it'll be no big deal. This one does have pockets. This one goes down to about my knees, and that's going to be great when I wear it over dresses as well. I got these, <laughs> love these, these boots from Aldo. I didn't try them on, but it says they're seven, so they should fit. They were three dollars. I got these little wedgie flops from George. They were three dollars, and they were brand new when I bought them because they still had the tag holding them together. I cut it off for this video. Oh, we have one more piece of clothing. I forgot about this. Got this Tommy button up. It's an extra small. But I love the mixing of the two different styles of stripes with a little bit of white on the edges. I think it is fantastic. And I'm really excited to pair this with a lot of the skirts that I own because I really love stripes and patterns. So I think this will be really great. And I got this dark blue slip. I mean, you can never have enough slips, and that one looks fantastic. I also picked up this straw bag. It was a total of $2, and I think it'll be fun. And this bag. It's a one-shouldered backpack. This one was $2 as well, and I'm excited. I'm really excited about a lot of these things. I'm not sure that they'll all work, but crossing my fingers, they do. So you can keep an eye on my Instagram for the outfits that do and on my Depop for the ones that don't. I'll see you later.